apparently Jeff Sessions is now going to essentially sue the state of California over the sanctuary bill law. Now, a lot of people, especially proponents of Sessions and Trump, have been very adamant with the idea that somehow California is breaking the law, breaking federal law. Yes, while California may essentially be impeding the federal government's ability to round up, you know, people based upon their skin color, because let's be realistic here, they are out... California is technically not violating any federal law. I mean, if we really want to think about it here, let's go back to the idea of the National Defense Authorization Act that was passed in 2012, the National uh, Defense Resources Preparedness Act, or NDRP, in which the federal government effectively, under o the Obama administration, mind you, signed an executive order stating that you could be tried indefinitely as an uh, or tried as a terrorist and held indefinitely, which means your right to habeas corpus, your right to an attorney, basically your right to a trial, everything stripped away. And Virginia, Alaska, and of course California were three states, the only three states, to essentially say, no, that's not going to happen within our jurisdiction. So essentially they passed their own laws which protected their citizens. So essentially, while federal, under federal law and whatever, the government could send federal, the U.S. government could send federal authorities into California to round up people, but they have to use their resources, their officers, etc. So, essentially that is what is going on with SB 54. Now, SB 54, in case you don't know what that is, if you live outside of California, SB 54 is essentially what is called the Sanctuary State Law, or the California Values Act, is essentially the, the English language trans translation to it. Essentially, it states, and simply states, and if you actually read the fine print, it does actually state this, it says that California will not, it will not assist the federal government in rounding up illegal immigrants, which means local, like your city and county law enforcement, and your state and law state law enforcement, all the way up to basically California Highway Patrol, which is the state police essentially. There's a big story on that. Um, None of those agencies can help the federal government. Not the California Bureau of Investigation, not the Attorney General, nobody. The only people that can investigate and round up illegal immigrants are basically federal authorities. So in this case, FBI, um, your uh, Immigration Customs Enforcement, um, basically any federal jurisdiction, any federal law enforcement, but you will not be getting that help from California or its law enforcement. That is what the law states, and the California, California as a state cannot impede beyond that. It can't pass a law beyond that, and it hasn't. The law does not go any further than stating that California cannot uh, it doesn't. It doesn't go any farther than stating that California will not aid federal federal well goons. It's not going to help. So California is not violating any federal law. It's not. Just plain and simple, it's not. Yes, it may be impeding the ability of the federal government to do it. But you know what? The federal government do doesn't have the the long stretch of of the law, basically, it doesn't have the, the resources or the numbers to do it, and frankly, that's their fucking problem. California is not violating anything. If anything, the federal government, Attorney General Jeff Sessions, U.S. Fuhrer Donald Trump, they are breaking the law. They are violating the constitutional 
Bill of Rights of California and its citizens because they are basically violating state sovereignty. They are violating our ability, our laws, trying to, you know, go over our heads and then have the gall to turn around and invoke the Civil War. They're, they're invoking, saying there is no, you know, secession Federal law is the supreme law of the land. First of all, Mr. Sessions, I don't uh, see anybody advocating secession. Who said anything about secession? You know, are you getting a little paranoid there, Jeff? You feel like you're about ready to lose your cash cow, or in this case, cash bear? No, this, the whole point to this is to basically state you know, we're not advocating secession. We're just basically stating that as a as a state, we have rights, which Mr. Sessions should know quite well, considering he used to be a very big advocate of states' rights before being appointed as, you know, the top judicial person in the country, which nobody can honestly understand why, considering that you were debarred twice as a Chief Justice in Alabama. Basically, what is being said here, what is being done here, essentially, by Sessions and Trump, is, as I would put, quote Jerry Brown, a declaration of war against the state of California. So much that Jeff Sessions has come here, he has said what he said, They're now, sent, now Trump is coming to California to speak with a bunch of people and basically incite, you know, fears and stuff like that amongst, you know, his constituents and, well, law enforcement. And essentially, they're trying to turn certain people against California's elected government. What's going on here is no different than how China treats Taiwan or how Spain treats Catalonia. You know, and even to a lesser extent, how Iraq treats freaking, you know, the Kurds. It's no different. I would agree, it's a declaration of war. And now, even USA Today is reporting that you're going to, that there may be a possibility that they want to send the National Guard in to enforce the federal law. Well, I say this send your troops. California has a military too that is solely under the governor's command the California State Military Reserve. Send them in. You are declaring war on California. So, I guess war it is then. Essentially, there is, if you really knew the law, you'd know that California is not breaking anything. Sorry. It's kind of just how it works. States have rights. Yes, the Constitution is the supreme law of the land. But... States also have rights to pass their own laws and basically state that federal assistance or, or state assistance will not be given to the federal government. Plain and simple. It's no different than with marijuana laws. Another thing that, you know, Mr. Sessions is ardently thinking about enforcing at the federal level. They can. There's no getting around that. I'm smoking a joint out on the curb or something like that, and a federal law enforcement uh, official walked up, they could legally arrest me, and there's nothing I could do about it. But if a state law enforcement official does that, they have no jurisdiction because they have no they have no warrant because under the state laws they can't do anything. Now under federal law they can. So again, in this case, federal resources can be used to prosecute, arrest and prosecute individuals for marijuana laws, but states can't do anything. But the states that have legalized it, they can't do anything. It's the same scenario. It's another example. So, sorry to burst the bubble of so many conservatives and so many Trumpsters, but California is a self-governing state just happens to be part of this abusive relationship with the United States. 
but it's not violating federal law. So it's kind of important to point that out to people who want to continuously open their mouth saying, oh, well, this is a violation of this, that, and the other thing. No, it's not. It's like, oh, well, it's going to make our country so much less safer. Actually, our country is much more safer with immigrants than without. In fact, most of your assaults, your murders, everything like that actually comes from native-born U.S. citizens, white, black, or brown. It actually comes from, a, from that. And I'd also like to point out that most immigrants are also very law-abiding. Now, yes, people are going to say, but they came here illegally. They're breaking the law. Therefore, how are they... Hold on there, Bubba. Yes, they may be breaking the law. But if they do have the pathway and the amnesty basically given the chance to get their damn citizenship, which the U.S. government makes so fucking hard and expensive anyway, if they're given a chance at citizenship, then it's fine. You know, they're, most are not going to go out and rob you, rape your wife or anything like that, or kill you. In fact, most of the people that are going to do that are white people. So, there's a little factoid for you. And another argument that I hear is like, oh, well, this is going to destroy the economy. One third of California's GDP is based in immigration. We are the sixth largest economy going on fifth. Right now we're on par about where France is, about to pass up Britain. One third of that GDP makes up California is, uh, is based in immigration. You take immigration away, crops are gonna are gonna end up wasting, so mass starvation, or basically food prices are at least gonna go up. Uh, your grapes to make your your beloved wine, they're gonna rot on the vine. Wine prices are gonna skyrocket. That's gonna hurt the Napa Valley economy, definitely the wine country. Nobody takes that more personally than moi. And when you put it all together, that's going to have a very devastating effect, not only on the agriculture and the tourism, but on the economy of California as a whole. No. Take, basically sending a bunch of immigrants back to their own country, basically rounding up a bunch of immigrants and sending them back just because they're breaking the law. No. You're ruining the California economy. Well, who gives a fuck about California? I guess you don't. And to kind of quote it the same way that you put it, since we don't like it here, we should get out, so why don't you sign those divorce papers and let us run free? Because obviously we're breaking your laws, we're not, you know, we're not welcome here, we don't like it here, maybe we should should be independent. You know, again, it's that whole idea of who's talking about secession? No one's talking about secession here. We just want to basically be able to do what we want. I am the Red Pagan. This has been Red Pagan Corner. Peace. I love